so this afternoon some of the stories that will be mentioned three men got deleted in Westmoreland last night they were erased a man known as Dada picked up a few rounds and was later pronounced also 21 year old female missing also coming up it is now said that the vaccine is also taking life here in Jamaica I'd rather not to say lives so that and more and then sure you're in the know so in order for you to get these news items on a daily basis you might want to consider joining the family remember that if you're new to the channel if it is your first time over here please i'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel and also remember to give this video a like for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude stay safe So the West continues to remind us that it can get wild uncontrollably because detectives attached to the Grand Jail Police in Westmoreland are investigating the circumstances surrounding the erasal of three men in Crowder District last night. Investigators have not yet released their identities, so I will respect the process and not proceed. Anyway, two of the men were found inside their homes and the other along a roadway. It was reported that about 10.30 pm last night, a group of heavily harmed men went on a shooting spree in Crowder District and these three got subtracted during their rampage. Residents alerted the police after the gunmen were seen opening fire in several homes in the community. The police rushed to the scene and conducted a search operation. The violence producers were already out of sight. Two of the victims were each found under their beds in their respective homes and the third was discovered suffering from multiple rounds he received along a roadway. The scenes were processed and the bodies were removed to the mark for post-mortem and that is all I have on this so far so if any more details should arise I will keep you abreast. So over in August town a man known only as Dada picked up a few rounds and was later pronounced and this happens last night in the Malian region of August town so if anyone from that here can assist me with any more details on that I would appreciate it. Still in August town, this 21 year old young lady has been missing since September last year. Her name is Jada Walker. Her family is appealing to anyone who may have any information to please contact the nearest police station in your vicinity because they really need some closure as to where she may be. Over in the parish of St. Mary, we have seen where a man known as Bergs was electrocuted by high tension wires after it is alleged that he was trying to save some kids from the falling JPS power lines after it fell and trapped the kids. That is the only information I have on the incident so far, so if any more details should arise, I'll keep you abreast also. Now on to a developing story. It is said that the C-19 vaccine is responsible for the passing of someone and everything that is now trending among us, around us, in our lives, etc once started out as a single test run or a trial version so in other words there was a start to everything in everything there was a one before it becomes a two so one life do matters so in this video that i'm about to share please listen carefully be attentive put away all the distractions and pay attention to what this panel is saying and then you can tell me what do you think leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section the comment section is yours now important is our events that are supposedly attributed to vaccination or immunization those are the side effects or the adverse events and we have been monitoring same over the period we have received to date 76 notifications the vast majority coming from females uh, amounting to 66 and males just 10 it's interesting and we continue to watch this trend that the younger persons who receive the vaccines are the ones that have the most side effects. So our 18 to 37 group of that 76, 34 
of those persons would have reported having uh, one or more of the side effects, and it was followed by 38 to 57. Uh, our elderly persons over 78, only 3% have reported any adverse effect at all. Now, we also analyze the adverse events, and we categorize some as being serious. Now, what we call serious would be deaths, uh, activities that may be life-threatening, anything that leads to disability. So over the period, we have noted five uh, serious reports, uh, 46, no, nothing at all, not serious, and unknown. Unknown is an interesting category because when we assess the reports, we cannot make a determination. Uh, it's possible that information is inadequate, uh, so we classify those as unknown. We have had one death. Our two life-threatening uh, conditions were actually the dreaded anaphylactic reactions. We are happy to report that the patients who will have been classified as same have recovered and are doing well. We also had uh, two hospitalizations and of course these persons have been discharged and continue to do well and we have noted one death that continues to be under investigation. My question is in relation to the deaths. I'd like to find out what age group the person who died, what area, if it's what, what parish rather, and what was the symptom? All right. So, so this this death is still being um, investigated, um, Janet, and um, we don't have all the information. I don't want to share some of the information um, with you. I mean, it was a very popular case in the news, and um, a lot of information has been out there already. But from from our point, once we have gotten, I have said in the last press brief that we are waiting um, the the case reports from one of the hospitals. And so I'm going to just ask you to be patient. And once we have gotten all the information, then, then we will share it. You would be able to say what age group? I don't, I don't have it offhand, but I'm sure if you check past media reports, you would see it in there. Hello. Our next question comes to us from Alfio Saunders. Go, go ahead, Alfio. Hi, good evening. I just wanted to ask Dr. Ennis to go over um, the section about the five serious adverse events. I wasn't understanding the breakdown in terms of the, the numbers. If you could just clarify that for me. Thank you very much. So when we look at serious uh, it reports, we look at hospitalization, we also look at deaths as indicated by our CMO, and we look at disability. So we had five persons who would have been in that grouping. So one would have been the death, two would have been uh, severe allergic reactions, uh, that's three. One person would have had severe muscle pain and would be immobilized for about 24 to 36 hours. And the fifth and final person also had an allergic reaction, however, uh, was just observed in hospital and not admitted. The, the matter of compensation for persons who would have had severe or um well, severe outcomes from vaccination. Um, as you know, we already signed the indemnity agreement for the manufacturers, and the government has taken full responsibility for um, the, the effects of vaccination within the country. So, yes, we would, once it is determined that the um, ill effect is a cause of vaccination, the government would then go 
through the process of um, determining through the legal um, avenue the levels of compensation that would that would accrue to the family or the individual. However, I must, from an administrative perspective on this matter, state categorically that as at this point in time, there are no debts that have been linked to vaccination, none whatsoever. And therefore, the government at this point in time is not in the process or not in the is not has not activated any of its legislative or legal arrangements for compensation again i wish to state categorically at this time that there is no recorded death that is attributable to vaccination what we do have is uh, as an indication that there is a case that is suspected. And so I want to make that from an administrative perspective, um, just for the purposes of um, the bureaucracy, that we understand that at this time, the Ministry of Health and Wellness is not processing any transaction related to the death of any individual as a function of vaccination. So there you have it, and please do remember that if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe, plus click the notification bell, and while doing so select option all, so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel, on this channel. And also remember to continue to give this video a like, like up the video, like always, for YouTube algorithm, blessings and more beatitude. Stay safe.